Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Hangover. I'm Scott Hunter alongside my guest tonight, Jeff Cobb. Welcome back to The Hangover. It's been a while. It's great to be back. Is that your Canadian accent? That's my Canadian accent. Hey, you forgot to introduce our third. You know, we don't have a third tonight. Muscles, we have a third. Muscles out. He's too hungover. No, to you forgot here. Alicia. Oh, oh, Alicia's back. Hey. Alicia's in. Hey, welcome. Welcome hi. back. Hi, Alicia. See, told you she'd be back. You're not here. Horrible. That was a spot. That was a, sp- that was a spot on Alicia impression. Thank you. You sounded just like her. Thank you. I got to put my phone on silent now. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for doing this again. Uh, my pleasure. I like doing this I know, stuff. I know. Last time you were here, we promised to take you out maple maple syrup. Uh, we didn't. We we're gonna tap a tree. We didn't do that. I I'm, know. I'm really sorry. Next time though. Ran out of time this time, but I know. You just have to keep coming back. That's all. I'll I'm keep coming back to Toronto. That's just- Ontario, Canada. Do, we, do I do I sound like that? No. But there was a few people who I talked to today that did. Sound oh, really? Like that. that was wonderful. <laughs> was, that's the experience you were looking for when you come here. Oh, I love talking to like Evo Uno. <laughs> yeah, he does have. A, he's got a pretty. Well, because isn't he from like Montreal? Yes. Okay, so I guess the accents are a little different. Okay, a little different. I'm learning all this new stuff today. Do you mind me going off? No, go for it. So today, I hung out with the ring announcer. Thank you for picking me up. And we, uh, who else did we go? Oh, Mr. Banks. We hung out. Yeah. At a cool guy. We hung out at the lovely Tim Hortons. And was by that, the airport. So uh, you've That's been in Tim, I took. But you've been in Tim Hortons before, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, my first Tim Hortons was in Calgary. Really? Yep. We, have you ever been there for a roll up the rim? I don't know. Uh, we went in July, I think it was during the Canadian Stampede. Okay. Um, but let's roll up. The so rim. roll up the rim is uh, so every year they put out this little promotion where you can roll up the rim of the cup and you can win like a free coffee or like a free. Oh, I heard. Yeah, I heard of that. I, like I didn't partake. Yeah. Well, years ago, when he when he was here, uh, Jay Lethal was in town. Jay rolled the rim, and I taught him how to, the proper rolling technique. Just, people have two different techniques. Sometimes you do the double thumb to roll it up, or you do like the bite it and roll it up with your oh, teeth. Okay. Well, I, I didn't know that people in Canada are good at rolling. What? <laughs> well, next next time roll the rims in, we'll make sure to book you. Oh, you, you come in and get. It was a just worked into another booking. Another you want a joke? Yeah, no, I got. It. I'm kidding. Sorry it's for the kids. PG. PG. It's not really PG. You can really say whatever you want. Homemade cigarettes <laughs> and laffy taffy. I don't know. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But anyway, so the I was in Tim Hortons. Lettuce. I was in Tim Hortons, and I was told that Smash Wrestling ran in a in a way up north. Um, God, what's that province up there? But they get paid. None of it. None of it. Yes, that's, that's a thing that happened. Yes, I heard the stories about that place. They told me great stories, and I want to go there. I want to go there. I wasn't even at that show. There was, but believe it or Who not, we talk to? who's a booker for this company? Yeah, we got it. We, we can should, we go? Yeah. We, wait, wait. If do I'm looking at that one? You can look in whatever one okay. you want to. They're, I mean, they're both recording. Okay. Can, we, we, can we go to? We n- want to go to none, none of it. None of but none your butt. What? It's weird. The none of your what? None of your butt. Well, and the last time I saw you was actually in your new hometown of Las Vegas, Nevada. We, we saw you at the Cauliflower Alley Club there. How do you mm-hmm. like living in Vegas? I, I actually like it. It's, um, ch- it's, it's cheaper to live in. Like cost of living is way cheaper out there. Um, I have a way bigger house out I have a way bigger house out there. Um, <laughs> the, uh, there's no state tax. Um, oh, that's big. The airport is a lot better. It, uh, it is a great airport. It's in easier Las Vegas. to fly. There's more flights for me to go home. Like, like uh, I remember the couple times I came to Smash, and the only flight to get me home would leave at 2 p.m. Right. So I, and then they kick you out of the hotel by 12. So, so I'm like, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's 11. I'm sorry. They kicked me out of 11. Usually 11 o'clock. So yeah. I'm like, well, I got three hours to kill in this airport. So I, I ate a lot of poutine, mm-hmm. and sat and uh, did nothing. But now I can leave at 6:30 in the morning, get home at noon, and my Monday is still good. That's a great. That's that's a great day. It's wow. Well, it's, it's a good day for yeah. Now, how'd you before? I'm assuming you visited Las Vegas before you moved there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is it like visiting Vegas versus living in Vegas? Uh, well, I mean, I don't really gamble. I don't really drink too much, so whatever. Okay. I'm kind of boring. Sorry, guys. That's not boring at all. I'm not boring. Now, do you find that like is it is it like a loud city to live in? No, uh, well, I live about 15, 20 minutes from the strip. Okay. So if I wanted to, like, for example, during cauliflower, I would go to the Gold Coast, mm-hmm. I believe, and then hang out there. And that was, 
got my kicks in Route 66, and it was fun. Nice. Yeah. Did you guys go the places I suggested? We, you know what? We didn't. Oh. Because oh. I, so I was traveling with Sebastian Suave in Vegas, and he is like a. It's almost like a, a little, it's like cool. one of those kids on a leash. I should put him on a leash next time because he, he's all over the place, and I'm trying to drag him along. Come on. No, no, no. This, we got to go to here now. Well, that's cool because, you know, like, hey, a short attention hey span. Jeff, what's good to do in Vegas? And we oh, will do none of so, that. So, 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 so. Oh, thank you for your input. And you don't. He, Jeez. <laughs> you gave us a full list of things to do, and we yeah. did literally zero all right. of those things. Cauliflower next year, you guys coming? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. We are going to go to the Heart Attack Grill. Okay. And we're going to eat there. And if you guys don't, I'm never coming back to Smash Wrestling in Toronto. Wow. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'll be back either That's, way. Oh, we'll, we'll be there because it sounds like a great place to go to. Well, I'm going to come back either way. There, uh, a little person spanks you with a paddle. What? If you don't finish your food that you order. <laughs> a little person. I have it on my girlfriend video this whole thing. I am extremely thing. excited now. Yeah, but she swings for the fences. And yeah. I, I didn't tear, but it hit like a... A central nerve, I believe that's my ACL, and it hit that part of my buttocks, and it triggered a, a pain receptor. Why am I saying these? So I, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but that's what I'm happened. picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. She hit you in the ass and then sent shockwaves down the leg. No, I cried. Oh, you cried? I didn't cry. Why? Oh, okay. Oh, like how many, how many, Come on. like maybe a tear? Two tears. Two tears. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that constitutes crying. I think, no. I think you're okay there. That has to be... Three. Three tiers minimum. What, what's the wrestling scene like in Vegas? Um, there's like, well, the main one out there is a FSW. Um, they run regularly out there. And then there's a new company called Ring Warriors that started up out there as well. And then, um, yeah, Sin Bodhi has a company out there called Freak Show as well. Right. Uh, I believe he's from Canada. He is? Yeah. But now he's in Vegas sweating like the rest of us because it's so hot. Jesus, turn the AC up <laughs> just a little bit. And then, um, and then every year, Cauliflower comes down. So it's a good – and then Ring of Honor is coming out there at the end of September, uh, the 28th and 29th. Uh, Impact's going to be coming out there in November, I believe. Uh, WWE always comes out there. So there's right. always wrestling around there. So, yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing. is, It's like you, living in, uh, in Toronto, there's so much wrestling going on in the area that sometimes we forget that there's other promotions outside of our little bubble mm. that, that, is, that is Ontario here. And it's, there's great wrestling all over the place. Yeah, there's great wrestling all over. And, you know, for the people that only support WWE, like the guys in WWE came from the indie scene. Right. Which is, of course, there's a lot of guys came through Smash Wrestling, you know, through, there's a lot of guys that came through with Future Stars of Wrestling in Las Vegas. So all the guys you see on the indies eventually, well, maybe not all of them, but like a lot of them go through the indie scene to go to the, the WWE. So guys, support your indie, your local indie Absolutely. Scene. As long as they're good, because I've seen some bad indie wrestling. <laughs> but there's oh. a lot of good indie wrestling. Out there's there a well. lot of good indie wrestling, um, usually the ones that I'm on. Yeah, well, and speaking of, speaking of good indie wrestling, <laughs> you just had a hell of a triple threat match tonight here at Super Showdown here in Smash Wrestling. You mm -hmm. took on Brody King and PCO. Yeah. Have you ever wrestled PCO before? No. What was that experience Very like? scary. He's a Mr. Destro fellow. comes down with a car battery, and he does this. You can hear it. It's like buzzing. That's the when the thingies come together. Shocked him back to life. And holy Jesus. I, I saw the look on your face when that happened. That was scary. Yeah. I didn't, I don't, I'm a horrible man. So I don't know if those things touch the ground. Do I get off the ground so I don't like, like get electrocuted? Right. Do I run? Do I uh, hop on one leg? Do I get off and touch only rubber? I don't scary know these situations. things. Like, I might die. Electrocuted. Well, it's not something you're expecting during a wrestling oh, match. Oh, God, no. God, no. And then he came back. He came back to life and beat the holy heck out of us. Well, thank goodness. I prevailed. Sure, Spoiler sure alert. <laughs> well, it, it's a post show. They would have seen it by this time. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> I win. Well, and now not only did you like compete in that tremendous matchup, but, but you're used, you're used to being a guy that's very agile for a man, your size, oh, yeah? but you're in there with two other men that are equally agile for their size. I mean, we saw some <laughs> things in that match. PCO pulled a, pulled off a moonsault. We saw Brody King launch himself over the top rope. What was it like to be in there with guys very similar to your style? All right, PCO, I'm going to say this right now. Don't one-up me ever again. I did a standing moonsault. You did? This, this crazy Canuck 
climbs to the top rope and does one, just ones up me. Not cool. Brody King, Hill, holy Jesus. Like, what do I look like, a giant crash pad? It's fat shaming. But he jumps over and lands on us. Come on. Come on. Who books this stuff? Well, and, well, here's the thing, fans. If for some reason, whatever reason, you missed that match, go out of your way to find that match. Because that, that Am was I a, spoiling that was, more spoiler alerts? No, sorry, no, you're guys. not. You're not. You're good. I'm spitting a lot. You're good. If, but you know what? By now, if you've spoiled the, the outcome for them, they missed out by missing the match anyway. So it's yeah. really their fault, not your fault. Shame. Problem. Yeah, shame. 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 Well, can't wait to see you back here. I mean, we do have a mystery show coming up. Maybe you'll be there. Maybe you won't. I have no idea what's going on on it, but I hope to see you again. I did that one last year, right? You did do that one last that year. Was that was a different venue. It wasn't here. No, it wasn't here. That was Oh, back. I'm pointing here like you guys know where we're at. That was back at our – we're in the Phoenix Concert Theater yeah, right we're now. Not, yeah. That was back in our the good old days of the Franklin Horner Community Center. I heard that's where you guys used to do shows before, right? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, we, we were doing shows in a, in a uh, local gymnasium. Oh! No, I can't do that because that's backstage stuff. What's that? Go Sebastian for gave me a bloody nose before the match even started. I remember. He gave you a bloody nose before the match yeah. started. Explain. How? Well, I don't want to give away secrets backstage. Oh, he just popped you in the nose? No. You do whatever you want. Okay. So, Sebastian is <laughs> like, That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Sebastian's like, hey, man, I'm going to do this hurricanrana to you. I'm like, bro, nobody does anything to me that I don't want to happen. So he jumps up, gives me a hurricanrana. But the funny thing is, little Sebastian hit me in the nose and I started bleeding. So did you allow that part to happen? <laughs> I can't stop it. He just jumps up <laughs> in my face and then he, little Sebastian, suave, he pops me in the nose and I start gushing like a stuffed turkey. Well, see, bass can't right throw a hurricanrana. That's a wrong analogy. Stuffed pig, bleeding pig. I'm bleeding. I'm, I think, I'm hoping by the time you stuff a pig, it's not still bleeding. I'm bleeding. You've done it in the wrong order. Bottom line is, little Sebastian Suave popped me in the nose. I bleed. And this is like right before our match started. So I had to clean up, and then I was like, the whole way I'm rocking to the ring. Ugh. Brutal. Yeah. Well, you couldn't tell. Yeah. But you know what? I won. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Wait, no. That was a whole year ago. Good. I don't know. You should have known that. You should have known. Guys. You should have known better. Yeah. Cobb, always a pleasure to do these. Always a pleasure. I really had a lot of fun. Oh, Next wait, time you sorry, come, we'll do another one. Hold on. He's sorry. Call. Hold okay, on. no. But I would like to thank Smash Wrestling for having me back here at the Phoenix Theater. I'd like to thank Suplex Wrestling. Get paid. Good call. Or I say it's not Suplex Wrestling. Well, that's the Twitter handle, guys. But Suplex. It's not Splex. Guys, come on. Suplex. Thur. And i also like to thank Alicia for interviewing us. Watch Ambi or watch me on Impact Wrestling live. Is it Impact or TNA? I think it's Impact now. Impact, Impact Wrestling. There you, thank you, Alicia. Thank you. And thank you, Jeff Cobb. Always a pleasure to do this, man. My pleasure. Sure, thank you. Hey, we got to go get some maple syrup next time. Yes. Don't, don't lie. Don't get my I hopes won't up. I'm lie. I'm sorry. Okay.